what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel well i am still here at cypress lawn memorial park here in colma california so far i've seen a few cool areas found some really cool interesting people of uh, of mention um notable people famous people um now i'm heading down the hill to uh by the front gate they have a beautiful beautiful columbarium um, at the bottom of the hill here by the front gate uh, beautiful building it's got a lot of you know urns and stuff in there to see and awesome um, construction so let's go down the hill and check it out metal of some kind. We got Ray Hoffert, 1928 to 2001, and looks like he was the world's greatest dad. And he had his kids, looks like, bringing him cards. And I wonder if Ray loved boxing because they left behind a boxing glove for him with some stuff written on it. these containers right here. That looks like a building of some kind. Look at that. It's kind of hard to see through the glass right now. I know, right? Look at that one. That looks like some kind of Egyptian themed box. Can't hardly make out the name though. It's hard to see. Nelson in here. Beautiful. There's some families in here, so I kind of got to remain quiet. Black is the last name. Culver Von, Von Rath. Zam. Alexander. I wonder if this one's not occupied yet. There's no first names in here.
though these are easier to see. Primaini, and the last name, Patsy, and Nick. There's Nick, and then there's Patsy. Walter F. Hannon, 1884 to 1947. Clark, Dr. Looks like Dr. Chaz, Louise P. Power, Christine, Stina A. Oh, I know this one. seems to be empty. This is the final resting place of Joseph Paul Kretzer. He was born in 1911 and died in 1946. He was a bank robber. He was the most feared bank robber on the West Coast during the Depression, earning the distinction of public enemy number five. After his imprisonment, he was caught trying to escape from McNeil Island Prison, so he was sent to Alcatraz in May of 1941. He and three others attempted to escape the rock, but they failed. After spending five years in solitary confinement, he got into another escape plan with Bernard Coy, Marvin Hubbard, Buddy Thompson, Sam Shockley, and Clarence Carnes. The resulting breakout attempt known as the Battle of Alcatraz began on May 2nd, 1946 in a spectacular plan. The plotters gained access to the gun gallery and took nine prison guards hostage, but the plan failed due to a misplaced key. Furious that all hope of escape was gone, Joseph Kretzer shot down each of the hostages, killing one. Carnes, Thompson, and Shockley returned to their cells, while the remaining three shot it out with prison personnel and the U.S. Marines. The fantastic siege lasted for 41 hours, with hundreds of grenades and shape bombs dropped into the cell house to dislodge the escapees. Kretzer and his two partners, Coy and Hubbard, were found dead on the morning of May 4th in a utility corridor there on Alcatraz Island. And his body was claimed and cremated by his wife, and he is, or was, as you can see, in the columbarium at Cypress Lawn Memorial Park right here, as you can see, the urn is now gone. It looks like maybe family or somebody had plans for his remains after he was interred there, and now they are gone. Left behind are his mugshot and inside a dried up flower in his spot there. Definitely an interesting story. Definitely an interesting character. Part of U.S. history for his participation at the Battle of Alcatraz. Joseph Paul Kretzer, bank robber. Whoa, what is this? room of some kind it looks like. That beautiful room. Like I said, I, there's some families close by so I gotta be quiet here. Ellis Joshua McClanahan, 1894 to 1964. Thomas and Jean Layard. Yeah, there's a picture of them. They died. One died in 1966. Thomas died in 1966, and Jean died in 2002.
is a beautiful one. Last name here is Raymond. Some big containers in there. It's hard to see right now, but there's a weird glare in here today on the glass. Hear the rain hitting the roof. It's raining out there right now. Look at all these little spots here. There's a roof leak in here. There's water on the ground. See the roof leak right there. Pretty well lit up in here. Bonnie V. Elias and Lober, September 11th, 1924, July 13th, 2019. Picture of her right there. I don't know if you can tell how well that's going to come out. God, I would love to know how many people are, are in here or housed in here. This one, this old time family photo right there. Or not old time, but it's older. Edward E. Hing and Grace L. Hing. 
Rubio Thorndike, 1948 to 1994, and there's a crucifix that's like on top of the box as well. There's a picture that rolled up in there, probably from age. Well, that's it for this video. My battery is dying on this camera and I've already burned through two batteries. I brought two batteries and I already went through two batteries today filming all the stuff that you've been seeing this whole week. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are digging this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all of my future uploads. Once again, it was a pleasure to bring you this awesome, awesome columbarium. And I'll be talking to you guys soon with more videos.